Hey there everyone, this is Alcal playing MathFab the third, and we are clearly at the middle ground of the contest. You can tell because the bar at the bottom does not... I guess I did whatever I needed to open up a portal. I kind of want to check, but I'm not going to. Alright, there's a bird here. Let's... How many birds are there? Bird here. Bird here in fifth, which is wild. Uh, okay, so there are two birds in this, and there's one. I'm just saying that because I just spent a long Kirby session. Alright, what do you got to say? This one. Everyone had a lot of trouble with it. The creator included a guide to clearing it. So if you need help... Wow. Lend a hand by Deese. This is like the worst time for this, isn't it? Like I said, I just spent a lot of time on Curb. I'm a bit worn out. And this is so hard that there's a guide. <laughs> I'll look at it later if I need to, but... Uh-huh, uh okay. Got little snaps in the song. Sheath is here. <laughs> so I like I just kind of popped in. To head over to neighbor Hand Moss's apartment and ask to borrow some sugar. Whoop! <laughs> I love how the text is actually. And then, yeah, I'm here now. Don't worry about it. Hand Boss is the boss with the hands. Got it. Okay. Here too. Uh huh. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> Got sixty out of sixty. He has his own bar. He's a hand boss. Uh. So that does not harm it. He has several phases, as you can tell by the various diamonds. Uh, okay, I'm supposed to do something here, probably. Okay. The vessel of room siphon until destroyed. What are you talking about? Where's the siphon of ruin? Okay, on the other side of the screen, there's another head popping up. Oh, what's that? Can I hit that? I can. And I can destroy that. So I'm thinking my goal is to hit all of those. Like, there are different, like, wires and stuff everywhere. You, you want to be popping those. While, you know, surviving, hopefully. Look at that. You're making me uh, do the spinning cord thing. And then just a tiny little punch is what got me. Okay. All right. Fair enough. This makes sense. For now. But you need to do a crush like that. Uh, so now my challenge is going to be to learn how to anticipate, like, various things that the hands actually do. Which, you know, easier said than done. This is going to be... It. So see, see, look at that. I did damage. What do you... Wait, what? What? Oh, you're being pushed... There's a lot going on. Okay. There we go, there we go. There we go, he blew up and I jumped into his thing. That's just the kind of thing I'm into now. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. So like this happens, I'm being pushed. It's very rude. It's kind of hard to dodge all of this. And then, whoa. I mean, I'm just kind of running until I get something. That didn't really work out. It then just pa pow! I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Aha! So you attack downward and you'll bounce on it. Okay. okay just get him there. And then get punched. Lightning. Ah, oh, was. I was trying to hold down, but I think the game didn't, like, recognize it. Eh. Wonder if you can, like, hit them to make it go away or something? You know what? 
if I'm going to take a hit anyways, might as well just take the dang hit and be safe. What happens when that happens? <laughs> I'm trying to attack up there and it just didn't. It's pretty good. Like, how do you attack up? Like, I know there's a way, I've done it, but I don't know, I don't remember how. And I don't know what to do when that happens. Like, I guess when the two hands leave, prepare to jump? See, both hands went up, and I didn't realize that one of them was the punch-down hand. Because both of them were up. Well... This is a bit much, don't you think? Like, how do you attack up? It's just hold up and jump. It's very unintuitive when you really think about it. Like, I know that's how it is in Zelda 2, and guess what? It's weird in Zelda 2 also. Well... Rude, you just stood there. Like, you can dodge these by... You know, following the rhythm, but I feel like the first projectile comes out too quickly. Like, I'm waiting for the first projectile to time the rest of my jumps, and it's just... It's not happening. This is way too hard. Whatever's going on in there. Okay, if you're glowy, I cannot hit. That makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what to do when that happens. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Like the initial projectile comes out so quickly, I don't know if I can actually react to it. So I, I I'm. That's very rude. Like, I'm not... I don't know what to do when you do that. Let's just get spiked, idiot! <laughs> well, yeah, the bounce got me right into that. And what this boss needs? A way to heal. All it needs is a way to heal. And I'm dead. I want to reload. I want to. I want to re experience some of his text because I feel like there's some things. Like, what's the deal with the things that pop up? No, I. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to re experience the helpful text at the start of the fight. Thanks! Great! Love it! I mean, I get it. Maybe you didn't expect that to be a thing, but it is. Uh, weird, you made a boss that's a bit complex. <laughs> Maybe someone would want to watch some notes again. Like this, like I do not remember what the deal with these are. Am I supposed to take the time to get there and like use up a lot of real life time? To deal with them or not, like, I, I, I don't know. Where'd that come from? Like, you went off screen. Alright, I'm dead. Like, I can do some damage. In theory, I could just keep doing what I'm doing perfectly and eventually he would probably die. <laughs> but, you know, I can probably make that easier on myself if really where where is everything i don't know it doesn't matter it matters a little bit because as long as i destroy the little stone heads eventually he gets hurt 
I don't know why, he just does. Cool. But the obelisks, what's up with them? What is their purpose? Why are they there? And why do I want to take time to destroy them? That... Like, you're there. You're right there. Why are you here? Why did I take the time there to destroy you? Ah, uh, you need to press up from the floor! You fool! It's such a logical way to control a character! What do you do when this happens? Like, how do you dodge this hand? Like, you can't! It's just... It just... I feel like that's an important thing to solve, though. Why does sometimes popping statue head hurt? And why do more often than not, they don't? See, here they cause damage, but why? Yeah. Uh. I don't know what to do when you do this. I don't know what to do when you do this. Like, I just do not know. It's just, you're lifted up. I guess you're dead. I don't know. I don't know what to do when you do that. I'm gonna look at the video. Like, I, I just... The, the issue is I still fundamentally do not know if I'm doing the right thing or not. Gonna see if I'm at least like on the right track. All right, so I watched a clear video, and as far as I can tell, I am doing exactly what I am supposed to be doing. I just need to be better. You just run around, destroy the heads as they come up, and uh, eventually you're gonna win. I guess I don't know. Like, there's no, like, explanations of the system in hand, so, like, I still don't really understand, like, why do some of these get destroyed? Like, why does this do damage sometimes? Why it doesn't? I have no clue. All I know is that, indeed, all the author does is he runs around, destroy the things as encountered, including these, so I'll destroy it. And, uh, after, like, six minutes, the video was over. I didn't watch the whole thing, however. I did not watch the entire video. Okay, so you need to walk a little- I, Like, I watched enough to see how he dealt with that, and it's- You basically slow down, and you whip when they're almost at you. It, it's very weird. Like, I'm still not sure I understand. Alright, so, uh, yeah. This is just like a big, big consistency test. If you're not into that, this level does not have much for you. Because it is so easy to get hurt. Like I said, like, I've said this early, I hope I keep that in video at some point, somewhere, but... A way to heal? Like, this is all a boss really needs, is like, sometimes... There's a mushroom on the ground, or like, inside of this, there's like, a mushroom, or like, a Metroid health, or something, you know? Like, just something. Something. Anything. <laughs> well, there is mushroom! Okay. I just was not good enough to have encountered a healing yet. Okay. It wasn't a mushroom, but it was a carrot. Okay, so more frequent heals. I do not understand this attack. I just do not. Even watching it on video, I do not understand it. So, the flame, it doesn't matter where he punches, the flames are gonna be around you. Oh, I, I thought he would be doing like the big wind-up one. Like, I don't know what to do! I... It just feels kind of generally hopeless. <laughs> it's just a weird thing to just kind of say like that, but no, yeah, it's just... Here's a thousand extremely powerful attacks. It's very unclear how progress is made. 
Like, it's clear what I have to do. I have to bop the heads. Sometimes they make him explode, sometimes they don't. There is no explanation anywhere about why. Or like, what causes this. Okay. Cool. So just kind of... Keep doing things, I guess. Like... I don't know, it's a weird feeling. No? No? Oh, okay, it was, was higher up. I, to my eyes, like, I, I, I cannot look at the entire screen like that. Then we do that, and I do not know what you want from me still. It's pretty good feeling. Like, gonna be real. Just a free, like, three hits I get to take here. It's pretty fantastic. No, yeah. I don't know, maybe it's just me? But I cannot tell in the blink of an eye if it's gonna be something I have to dodge or punch. It's just too fast. The things we have to do, you need to run and then stop at the right moment. Maybe that's why they were attacking in the video? Because that stops you on a dime. Okay, now I understand. I didn't think that fist was right in a fist. I thought it was gonna do a magic. Like, I, there's... There's too many options about what a hand can do when they do a thing. Like, the advantage of a hand boss is they can do hand things. This this one just has floating hitboxes that it moves around in the air. And you just kind of have to infer through magic what they're going to actually be doing. This is why this is so hard. Then he gets this, I don't know what it does, but... Okay, your timing just needs to be absolutely perfect, but once it is... Once I know what the per... the... what the... I was... I was holding down in the air, what can I tell? What can I say? This, I, again, I was holding down while in the air, no down smash, because Link is such a fantastic character to control. No, I didn't realize it was this attack. Well, now this sweet wall is in the way, though, so I can't do the thing, so that's pretty good. Yeah, no. Uh, when you're in midair, you, you're in midair. I, I can't... Literally nothing I can do there. I'm surrounded by two spells. It's like, okay, cool, like, cool, just fantastic. And because I'm but I, I don't have a choice. Ah, I cannot read that fist. Sweet. No, oh, I was looking at the other fist, so just... I don't want to be playing anymore. I... I don't remember the codes for Smebex. I mean, I don't even know if they would work. For, it's like, I, I, I'm i at the point where I would just invincibility my way. Like, I just, it, but I, I don't know how. This level's just too hard. It's just too hard. I've made it to the halfway point of bar once. I'm at an hour and a half of playing now. And I mean, the, the clear video the author posted is six minutes of this. Like, I get it, I understand the boss, but the, the, the difficulty is way overtuned. Like, you're, you're just kind of expected instant mastery and reflex of everything in a way that is, is not available to me. Uh, no! Huh? Uh. Great. I needed that. I needed a surprise attack like that at this point. Nice. Juggled right into his other hand. That wasn't there when I started my self-defense. I stopped to destroy the obelisk, so now I can't defend against this move. It's pretty well thought out. 
I'm done. I'm done. I'm not having fun. I'm done. I cannot beat this level though. I don't know what this means. I guess I'll come back tomorrow. I guess I'll come back tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. It's too hard. The level, like the boss is very well done. It's designed in an interesting way. Its attack are super cool. It is way too hard. It needs to either have either half as many much health. I, I don't even understand the health system. Why isn't every time you hit the statue something happens? Why is it only every time you hit X amount of statues? Like that doesn't make any sense. There's no sigil in the bar. How the hell am I supposed to look at them and try to understand them if surviving the boss himself is like actually legit pretty hard? Like it's just too hard. It's just I don't understand what you're asking of the player. It's just I it just I no, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry.